We've created some navigation elements and often with navigation it's useful to have it so that there's a transition effect as you move from one element to another. Let's go ahead and look at how we do that. So the element that we're looking at really is the link itself and we're looking at what we can do with that link. So inside here we can say transition and if we wanted the um, just a color to transition and fade we would put color in, put the duration in And the background changes quickly, but we can see the effects happening just on the color. So if you wanted the background as well, you can put background in like this background and put that as 0.7 seconds as well. And now you can see both of them working. Another way of doing that is to put all in there. And that does the same thing, so you don't have to do as much. So the first element that you put in here after transition is what you want to change. Then the timing of that in seconds. So it could be 2.7 seconds, for example. And then after that, we put in the easing. Now there is easing by default. And that's the same as writing ease in there. There's also ease in which makes it slow in like it eases gently in from the start there's ease out which makes it start fast and then slow down towards the end and then something like ease in out as well you can see it's a a little bit different in the middle and of course if you don't want any easing at all you could put something like linear on there which makes a straight transition from each side. The ease is usually pretty good most times and it's probably the one you'll end up using the most. So it's as simple as that to create transition effects which are essential for making navigation elements.